and streaming worldwide on the WMAL app. O'Connor and Company. It's 837. It's O'Connor and Company. Thank you for letting us be a part of your morning routine. It's O'Connor and Company here in your nation's capital. Larry O'Connor with Julie Gunlock. And you know, in 30 minutes, we got to make way for Chris Plant. That's right. Chris Plant will be here. Uh, But before then, we've got to speak with Sean Kennedy. He, of course, Virginians for Safe Communities, as we have a lot of developments here in the region with regard to the crime problem. And finally, it appears, maybe some elected officials uh, figuring it out. Sean, thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. First, let's start with Arlington, Virginia, as the brand new chair of the county board called out their Commonwealth's attorney, the Soros-backed Parissa Dengani Tafti, for letting criminals walk the streets. By the way, it should be pointed out that uh, this chair is a Democrat. So are we, are we starting to see some kind of action here within the party? I think so. I mean, I think that there is a movement that we've seen, at least in Northern Virginia, where quality of life issues, obviously crime is top of mind in many of these jurisdictions, obviously just proximate to Washington, D.C.'s just out of control chaos. We just this morning in Washington, D.C. had somebody killed on 16th and K., like it's unbelievable uh that's you know a couple blocks in the white house if anyone doesn't know that yeah. and the uh that has you know permeated the mind so when we see all these incidents across the region especially in northern virginia which had been very safe people get concerned so in loudon county earlier in the last couple of years we saw the democratic chair there phyllis randall and others that are democrats on the school on the board county board call out buddha Bibberi, who was defeated Yay. Uh, and 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 uh, we obviously have seen some criticism from the Democrats here in Fairfax with Steve Viscano privately and and, you know, very tepidly, but but uh, publicly. And now the chairwoman, the incoming chairwoman of Arlington, Virginia, Arlington, Virginia, by the way, voted 80 percent for Joe Biden. Yeah. This is not a bastion of uh, old Virginia. This is a very liberal place. Uh, it makes Montgomery County blush in some respects. And this woman has been very involved in the Democratic Party in Arlington for years, Libby Garvey, and now was elected by her colleagues, which I think says a lot because she wasn't elected just by the voters, but the consensus among the Arlington County Board, which is very liberal itself, was to put Libby Garvey in a position to oversee both the you know, county police, uh, you know, and in this case, funding the Commonwealth Attorney. And that's what's important here. This criticism is not meaningless. She controls, along with the city of Falls Church, the budget of Parissa Dagati Tosti. They could curl, t- curtail, or somehow inhibit her ability to do certain things. And over the last few years, they've given her a lot more money to fund positions that, of course, she never filled. Uh, but they have power over her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I, w- I hope you can explain a little bit because they do this sort of sleight of hand, both Parissa Dagani Tafti and Steve Descano, another Soros funded prosecutor in Fairfax. He, he's with Fairfax. They do this sort of sleight of hand where they say, well, crime is down. But they, what they're counting, they're not, they're not accounting for the fact that they don't charge anyone. Um, when, when, char- when, when a crime isn't charged, it doesn't exist. Um, so, you know, could you, could you explain that a little bit? Because they're constantly saying that there's no crime, essentially, nothing to really worry about, which is part of why well, these people are constantly reelected. It's, it's partly, partly, but in fact, crime is not down. Right. In Arlington right. County, Virginia, it's up 25 percent from last year, mm. and it is up even further over the last uh, four years. It's about 40 percent uh, on a, uh, overall what are called Part A offenses, which are most serious crimes, auto theft, robbery, mm. et cetera. Uh, and then in Fairfax, we're seeing a 60 to 65 percent increase in violent crimes since Steve Descano took office. Wow. So they often make the claim that they're one of the safest jurisdictions of their size in the country, but they were immensely more safe. It's all relative to how safe they were right. versus how safe they are. It's, it's like you're moving the goalpost. Oh, we're not as bad as Philadelphia. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> I don't know. Right. That's the rubric. But, I mean, they, they lump in Philadelphia. It has 1.6 million people. Fairfax County has 1.2 million. So, therefore, they're the same. You know, St. Louis, St. Louis City has a roughly the same population as Arlington County, around 300,000. Do you want to be St. Louis? Is that our comparison? Yeah. Um, 
So that, that's sort of the thing in terms of the charging decisions. So the police actually lay charges. So what is actually going on in the crime data is that the police are demoralized and disincentivized to charge crimes. And we've seen this nationwide where police are telling victims not to press charges because it doesn't matter. It's a nihilism or a feudalism that goes from the police down to victims because of the actions of the state's attorney, or in this case, the Commonwealth's attorney. What's so important uh, when you look at overall crime numbers, which is where they cite this crime is down thing, is the number one and the only offense that is consistently down in any of these jurisdictions are drug offenses because they've said they won't prosecute them. So the police don't charge them. And we've seen in Arlington County, Fairfax County, and obviously just recently again in Loudoun County, a huge spike in student and youth overdoses due to fentanyl. And they're not charging drug dealers. This is crazy. We're speaking with Sean Kennedy, Virginians for Safe Communities, and we only have about a minute left here. But we have an opportunity to actually see some improvement in Loudoun. Loudoun County was going in the wrong direction. As you mentioned, Buda Biberai lost her election campaign. Uh, for a campaign for re-election, Bob Anderson now taking over. And I'm wondering if you could sort of uh, reflect a little bit on what he might be able to do very quickly, working with Sheriff Mike Chapman there, that could make such a significant difference that people in Fairfax and other areas can say, oh, wow, all it takes is one good election and we can actually fix things. Well, the number one thing is to send a signal by action, in this case, you know, by example, that if you commit a crime in Loudoun County, we're going to throw the book at you. We're not going to play footsie with you. We're not going to decline charging misdemeanors. We're going to use the full extent of the law to deter and disincentivize any future crime. When these guys, I don't know if you saw this, we haven't caught them yet, but they crashed a stolen Maryland car into a gun shop in Loudoun last week. Those guys, if they get caught, there are stolen auto offenses, there are gun offenses, there's obviously breaking and entering, and et cetera, robbery offenses. Those guys should be up for nearly life under Virginia mandatory minimums. Bob Anderson can send a signal to anyone who would even get close to doing something like that or even less than that by saying, you're going to do all the time, and I'm not going to back off. While Buddha Bibri constantly gave sweetheart deals to people from Redskins players to right. you know white killers he's doing so many crazy things that the people got sick and tired of being sick and tired yeah all right well let's see this happen this will be a fascinating experiment to see from one county to the next what a difference an election going one direction can make and then hopefully northern virginia voters will learn a lesson thanks sean kennedy good to talk with you